Perfect. What we got? What we got? Fire all. Fire all. The obvious question first, I guess. You're going okay. up against your old team. Are you pumped about it? Uh, I'm pretty excited. You know, see the guys. I haven't seen them in a while. But at the end of the day, you know, we out here to work. You know, I'm with the Raiders. You know, I'm here to make sure that I'm doing what I can to uh, make the Raiders better. Do you have any text messages from your old teammates talking trash? <laughs> no, a couple of FaceTimes, you know, <laughs> talking smack. That's about it. You're a Raider, bro. Oh, I, I got you. I, I keep that in mind. Hit the blue guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my guy right there. Right? But um, no, you know, a couple of FaceTimes, like just talking smack. But you know, they, you know, they're, they're coming in. They're ready to work. We're ready to work. You know, it should be, it should be a good joint practice. In general, what do you think are the benefits of practicing against another team? The biggest benefit is, you know, not hitting your own guy, you know, anymore. But, you know, just to uh, be able to get some fresh looks, uh, go out there, get some. It's, it's a different energy about it when you have those joint practices. It'll be uh, the, thir the third time that I'm doing it, um, personally, and it's, uh, it's a good work, just to say the least. Have you been able to impart any kind of knowledge on the Raiders of what they're about to face this week? Uh, a bit, you know, just uh, giving them some details about the guys, you know. Uh, you know, good group of guys, athletic guys. You know, just you know, uh, new coaching staff, so there's only really quite so much I can really give them. But as far as the guys that are still there, you know, just giving guys a little heads up on you know what they bring to the table. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, doing what I can to help prepare. You know, my guys to be on it up tomorrow. Uh, Mark Lee's a young guy being asked to do a lot. You know, what do you think he's doing uh, in the base? doing great, he's doing amazing, you know, he's taking it all in, asking all the questions, diving in the film, you know, I think uh, he's going to take a huge step this year, you know, he's smart, he's physical, you know, athletic, so you know, I feel real good about him, I feel real good about uh, uh, Nick, Nick Morrow, you know, our young guys, the veteran guys, I feel good about the whole group. Stafford and Carr are similar in terms of arm talent, I think they deliver the ball and get there on time. Oh yeah, yeah great. Uh, some of the leagues from their quarterbacks, you know, just, you know they, they really like, really great, great arm talent, like you just said, you know, smart, you know, they're going to be competitive, you know, so that's why, you know, like I said earlier, DC's my guy, just being out there around them each and every day, you know, just seeing that competitive nature, you really, you know, he really enjoys it, he drives off it, and I love it, you know, as a defensive guy, that's what you want to see in your quarterback. Well, the fight breaks out, you know, in the next couple of days, is that ever good or bad, or Chemistry. Hey man, this camp, you know, guys get a little testy, you know, temper, tem tempest flare, but you know, I think uh, we shouldn't have any of that. You know, I think uh, they do a good job of, you know, just showing up and you know, keeping it about football. I think we have a good group of guys that's pretty much looking forward to doing the same because at the end of the day, it's nothing but a distraction. Speaking of quarterbacks, you had an interesting tweet last week regarding Dak Prescott. What was the, the thought behind that and chunky soup and everything else going with it? Say what I said, and leave it at that. You know, I really don't have too much to speak about that. A random question: Where did the face mask uh, come from? That's a unique one. Ah uh, man, I'll, I like to uh, switch it up. You know, yeah. with the helmet with the face mask. It's a uh, Zenith uh, helmet, and they have a bunch of funky face masks. People always get on me. They say, "Man, you wearing a lacrosse helmet and all this <laughs> type of stuff." Like, man, shut up. You know, I like it, so yeah. that's all that matter. But. You no, know, so it's good to change it up, you know, throw people off. It's, you know, keep it fresh, man. Keep it funky. <laughs> Being here for a couple of years, you, you, are you kind of taking ownership of, of this linebacker core, kind of stepping out to be a leader, not only of the young guys, but just of the entire group? Is that important to you? Oh, extremely important because, you know, I'm, um, it's seventh year for me. So, you know, you know Rudin and the staff, you know, they, they brought me here for a reason because of that veteran and that, 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 that experience. And, you know, there, there is no substitute for experience in this league. You know, and you know, I, I'm definitely take it, taking it, you know, in stride. You know, just want to make sure that, I, you know, I'm assertive when I need to be assertive. Uh, and, but most of all, just lead by example. You know, I'm not a big rah-rah guy. You know, I try to keep my guys rolling. You know, just by giving them the energy and the juice that I have, the effort going out there and just running around so, you know, they can just feed off that. It's so big that often faces head turns out like some teams do. This team obviously made a concerted effort to bring in a lot of them. They did it the first time they were here too. What about, about bringing the staff appeals to you as a veteran player? 
uh, extremely smart staff. They understand the game. They understand how important veteran guys that play a lot of football in this league are. And uh, us being veteran guys, you know, we appreciate that. You know, like you said, some teams, they try to phase veteran guys out. But, you know, like I stated earlier, you know, there's no substitute for experience. You, know? you, you can get a young guy, he might be a bit more athletic and can move around a little better than you know, a veteran guy, but at the end of the day, you know, if you don't have that game experience, if you haven't seen it as much as you know, you know, you know you're a bit hesitant. Your speed's not going to show on the spill when you're unsure of your assignment, and unsure of what you're getting out there, what you got to do. So, you know, I've played a bunch of ball. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, react to stuff a bit you know, quicker than you know, a person. You know, and I'm going to go out there and make sure that shows. You know, just really appreciative, you know, for moving in the staff, bringing me in. Uh, a couple more guys. Specifically, it seems like a lot of the defensive players uh, reference his abilities as a teacher. Um, in your opinion, what, what makes Gunther an effective teacher? Make sure that you understand what your job entails. You know, he, and if, if there's any bit of uncertainty, you know, a look of uncertainty on your face or your body language, he, He's going to feed her. He's going to go in for the Okay, look, so this is why I told you this. So he's not going to just give you a coaching point and back off and then expect you to. No, he's going to, he wants you to understand and think the way he's thinking. You know, because he wants us as players to really take, you know, grasp and take ownership in, in the defense because at the end of the day, he understands that we're the ones out there and we have to play. So we have to feel good about the defense just as good as he feels about it. And, you know, he's not going to let up. You know, the whole staff, they're not going to let up until we know it just as well as they do. So you're really you see from Harden when you sit back and watch him or anything? Oh, man, he's, he, he's, a, he's a stud to say, you know, I'm going to put it that way. You know, he's big, you know, he's strong, uh, he's athletic, you know. He, he can move, he could go inside, he can go outside. I'm excited to see him, you know, go out there in the first game and let it rip. When you go back and watch him on film, when you are seeing it, is it more impressive when you see it on film and you're able to slow it down maybe a little bit? It, every, everything looks better in slow motion, baby. You ain't know that? <laughs> you know, when you slow it down and you, you see the, the shoulders and the footwork, and, you know, but no, it's, it, it's amazing when you slow it down and you're able to just take a step back and just watch it. And you, as, a, as a linebacker, you appreciate it. You, you see the work that the defensive linemen, they, the work that they're putting in up front and keeping us clean as backers. You know, you got you got to show them love. You know, when you see that, you got to show, give them a pat on the back and say, hey, man, I see you. Keep working, keep doing it. So I make sure that uh, I'm going out my way to do that every time I see it on the film. Last as question. As a linebacker, what's your thoughts about the, how to get your helmet out of the game to the impact of tackling and your job and also the rules? be explained today by the officials when they meet with the team and any questions that you would have? Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, you don't lower your head to you know, initiate contact. And at the end of the day, it's you know, protecting the offensive guy. But most importantly, you're protecting yourself. You know, uh, we've all seen what happened you know, countless times last year. The guys lower their head. You know, you run the risk of not just injuring the guy on offense, but you know, uh, exposing yourself to injury. And, you know, it just makes sense. As a defensive player, you know, you're always taught you need to see what you're hitting. You know, you're taking on the block, you know, you don't throw, duck your head, you know, because, you know, you're exposing yourself, you know, that neck injury. So, you know, that's, the, that's always the way I play the game. So, I don't think it's necessarily going to affect the way I play the game. So, it's the same line. You have to turn on your 2017 film and look at all the contact you delivered. If you don't play, it'll probably be any adjustments you've had to make on any of those plays. No, not at all. Thanks, guys. Thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you.